Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Big Steve here. Hey, I just uh, want to go over a couple of upgrades that I did to my Predator 3500. They're fairly easy if you guys work with your hands a little bit. Um, I think everybody can pretty much get this done. But the one thing that I've ran into doing these remote starts is where to put the door actuator to control your choke. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on guys putting it on the other side, opening up both sides of the case, um, and then which way to wire it. Do you want the door actuator to start in and go out? Now, this is just personally what I did on this unit. I think works the best for me. And my dog, Tank, he's always bugging, but he's cool. So what I did, I started with the blue wire on ground. So the door actuator is out, starts out first. So when you energize the ground side, it sucks in, not vice versa. So what I did is I took a 14 gauge wire and I connected it to a little pin on the bottom side of that choke lever down in there. You see the red wire. That was kind of tough. You need a needle nose pliers and you kind of create a V, loop it around and take the other end and you keep twisting it as much as possible until you get that thing pretty tight. Kind of like that there, but on the other side. And you obviously get the length once you have mounted your door actuator. And you kind of put it at a nice little angle there, so it just kind of flows nicely. And on the back side of this charcoal box, there's a vent hose. Now, if you can see, I have moved that vent hose. Here, I can move it for you. I have moved that vent hose, if I can get to it, out of its holster. And that holster is an eyelid right there. You could see it. I spun that eyelid 90 degrees and created a small pulley system that connects down there. And now when you actuate it, it opens fully with no problems. The first couple of units I did, I did not mount it that way. Oops, sorry, my cover fell here, folks. Scratching it all up there. And then I ran my wires down in through here, down in through the main electrical uh, opening in the front, down in through there, and ran it into my small little loom. Now, I personally think this is the best way, as the other way wasn't opening the choke 100%, and it was not starting on the first two revolutions as the Predator normally does. Um, so you guys can get a full look at that. Very clean, simple, and if you guys know how to work with your hands, I think you guys can get it done. But, all right, YouTube, on the next one, I'm going to show you how I installed my four channel receiver for electric start remotely um, remote off remote economy mode and remote choke and until that video i'll see you then